Pope, aka MDPOPE, or most disturbed person on planet Earth. I mean, it's known as one of the most messed up, fucked up, disgusting, depraved, disturbing movies to ever be created by man. I mean, the worst movies you've ever heard of um, are probably on the top of the iceberg, which is how I found this out. I believe it was a YouTuber called Wendigoon. Um, where he was kind of naming off the most disgusting movies ever made because someone made an iceberg list. Um, I'm probably going to put it right here. And, um, you know, you got Friday the 13th and Halloween all the way at the top. You know, the absolute top of the iceberg, surface level. And as you go down, movies get more and more depraved. And the most fucked up movies I've ever heard of, like Siberian film, was only like in the third section out of eight. Yes, Eight fucking sections. While MD Pope was all the way at the absolute bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the fucking barrel. That you would have to scrape off with like a paint scraper to find this fucking horrific, disturbing, you know, just disgusting movie that has ever been made by any human on this fucking planet. At least that's what people say. Me, I'm not that fucked up by it. Um, because I've seen shit like this my entire life. Fucked enough to say, you know what I'm saying, um... I'm very desensitized, depraved as a person, my damn self, you know, spending hours look, going on Best Score Live Leak and all this bullshit, uh, Rotten.com and the fuck that was a thing. But with all that being said, M.D. Pope, Most Disturbed Person on Planet Earth, was a movie that was made in 2013, February 11th, by a man named M.D. Thomas Cinemagore. Now, it runs for about 2 hours and 27 minutes, and with this movie, um... It has about 61 clips, which is why it's called a compilation or a mixtape. And these 61 clips are taken from websites like Best Score and other websites quite like that. Um, E-Fucked, I believe that's another website. And it's just the most fucked up shit that you'll ever see. And I hate to use this word. Believe me, I hate to use this word. I really fucking do. But this movie has a lot of um classics, right? classics i i know i know it's probably what the fuck is this guy talking about classics you know like your two girls one cup uh your one man one jar the one girl one tampon um one man one horse uh, all those very 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 popular shock videos you remember that everybody was talking about back in 2011 12 13 and years prior are inside this fucking uh film so it has a lot of classics you know four girls finger paint as well as fucked up as that term you know using that term classics yeah the ones we all remember being fucked up by um and everybody used to talk about uh especially when i was in middle school and high school yeah middle school uh <laughs> but with all that being said i gotta say about almost half this movie mind you 61 clips i would say about 29 to 30 of these clips are sexual oriented and what i mean by that or is like um like extreme bdsm very fucked up shit if it's not people cutting their dicks it's people who already have cut in half dicks. Yes, it looks like someone grabbed, you know, you know, the Italian dinner sausages and like cut it down the middle. So the dick is like that. And then they fucking beat the shit out of it even more. These people are fucking just absurd. It's just crazy. These people are fucking crazy. They're nuts. Speaking of nuts, enjoy this segue. Um, one of the most fucked up clips in the entire video a guy literally, I, I can't make this shit up. And right, you may think that this is fake. It's fucking real, okay? It's, it's fucking real. There's no debate whether it's fake or real. It's fucking real. Um, whew, uh, this guy, he puts rubber bands around his testicles. I'm not bullshitting you. And his balls turn like yellowish and they start to die because he's cutting off the blood supply. And he's like filming it over a couple of days. Then at a point it turns like greenish and then gray. And then they're like fully dead. And he, he grabs like a razor blade and starts cutting at them shits. And, and scissors, and he starts snipping them, and he, he removes his fucking testicles after putting rubber bands around them and, and fucking and killing them. Which, the first thought that came into my head is like, dude, enjoy having fucking testosterone patches for the rest of your life. I mean, that was just a dumb move overall. I mean, what possesses you? What possesses you to mutilate yourself in the first place? As if your own fucking testicles... Your own, like, that's sacred to a guy. Like, without your balls, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're a fucking man. You gotta have your nuts. The guy cut them shit, he didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? The guy, it's like he was popping a pimple or some shit. His quick removal, yeah, 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 another day, another day. Uh, 
it's fucked up. It's like, you know, people be like, oh, it's because people get sexually stimulated by shit like this. Well, if you get sexually stimulated by cutting off your own balls, well, you better enjoy that fucking moment because you can't do it again. You can't do it again. You cut off your nut. You ain't gonna fucking grow a second pair. They're gone. Um, so there's also a lot of scat inside. Well, I wouldn't say a lot of scat. I would say at the 61 clips, there's about five to six clips of scat, um, whew, which is my weak spot. Not too much vomit. There was like one to two clips of vomit. But when it comes to scat, that is like my weak spot, homie. And you already see me doing some funky ass fucking faces um, because I'm kind of remembering uh, the scat and the vomit shit. It was like people, oof, fuck. This is my weak spot. When it comes to gore, I'm good. Uh, but when it comes to scat and, and fucking vomit, though, I, 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 that's, whoo. Uh, there's, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Uh, <laughs> it, it's like very, whoo, I'm sorry, I'm fucking sorry. This is one part where this dude is like sitting down and there's like a bitch with a massive fucking clit. I mean, her fucking clit looks like a Vienna sausage. Um, and she has like a seat that's cut out so her ass cheeks are hanging out. This dude has like some fucking Naruto goggles that he used to wear when he was a kid. Covering his eyes as this bitch dumps ass in his fucking face. And I mean, she takes like three different types of shit. It was like a, a scattery water shit. And it was like loopy poopy after that. And then like hard shit. And he's just taking this shit to the fucking face. I mean, he, and it, he just starts mobbing that motherfucker. Like he's just... Just eating that shit like a double whopper with, with fucking cheese and bacon. I mean, he's eating that motherfucker like a Big Mac. He's just going in on it and just pushing it into his mouth. And, um, this dude's acting like he ain't never had food in like a fucking month. Like, dude. And then you have this weirdo in the background that's like, you know how many people would would wish to be in your position right now like he's like fucking talking him up with some shit he's like um you know how many people would want to be you right now eating this shit you know how many people you know how lucky you are acting like the girl is shakira or something even if it was shakira i don't know i couldn't do that but um yeah that was fucking disgusting as fuck um <laughs> that's so gross but i want to go back onto the sexual shit um there was a person who was like in a hyper realistic et costume taking some dick it looked just like fucking E.T. I can't even fuck with you. It looked just like E.T. And I was sitting there like, oh, man. It was fucking... He's just giving this bitch dick. Um, and then, like, the first, first clip of the entire movie. Sorry, I'm, like, I'm bouncing around a little bit. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what the fuck this movie's about. Dude with, like, elephant titus in the nuts and dick or some shit. I mean, this dude's... I, I hate to describe another man's genitals. That's, that's kind of fucking suspect. Uh, it's actually real suspect. But, I mean, this dude had, like, a fucking, yo, yo how did not rip his skin? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you assume that it would, like, fucking drag his upper body and rip out all of his organs. This dude, you know, I'm not going to say the, the, the exact size of him, but just know they were not small. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and compliment the motherfucker. I, I don't roll that way. Um, it'd be very suspect if I did. This fucking, like, that fucking... That shit is fucking like two basketballs in a traffic cone. This fucking dude's dick and balls were swollen as a motherfucker. I don't know how he came to do that. And I know you're probably going to be like, oh, you just said you weren't going to describe what my hat. I'm sorry. Um, and, and like, it looked like a wasp stung him in his nuts like 56 fucking times. And then a, a wasp stung him in his dick. And he fucking jerks his cock. And I, I can't fuck with you on this one. I'm not fuck. This guy is literally... Literally. Google the term literally because I'm dead fucking serious. Look me in my face because I am dead fucking serious when I say this shit right now. He was pissing cum. Yeah, he was pissing fucking cum. I mean, this guy, like, like someone took a fucking cork out of a bottle. This guy was pissing cum out of his fucking dick. And whilst he's doing this, you can see his nuts deflating. I don't know if that was, I might have lost some words, um, probably the happiest day for that motherfucker, I tell you that much, you know what I'm saying, shit, um, what else you got, um, there was also this motherfucker had a basketball in their butt, like he literally shits out a sheaf, oh, I can't fucking remember, they had a whole entire basketball in their butt, fucking shit it out, 
Um, there's people who went fishing using cats as bait or sharking using cats as bait. That was pretty fucked up. Um, what else? Um, there was a lot of, uh, Japanese girls and shit that were, like, killing animals. Like, they'd be sitting on the rabbits and shit and, uh, stomping on kittens. That, that one's a little bit fucked up. I hate cats. Don't get me wrong. I fucking hate cats. I, I hate cats to the death of me. I'm a dog person. I find cats fucking annoying. I find them obnoxious. They don't listen. They don't know shit. They don't do shit. They just, like, take care of me and I'll fucking do whatever. Climb on your counters. Get hair. I hate cats. But I would never fucking kill one. Uh, especially, like, these Japanese girls get off at that shit. Like, crushing them on, um, one part, like, in the street. Which is another infamous shock video. Uh, it's like, one girl, one guy. I don't fucking know. Probably some shit like that. But I remember seeing this video when I was, like, 12 or 13 years old. Um, I'm 20 now. Uh, she, like, stuck the heel in its mouth. And it stuck the heel in its eye socket. And started crushing it. Um... It's pretty fucked up. Uh, there's also a lot of, yeah, animal cruelty. Uh, one more thing I do want to go on apart. There is a lot of violence. Now, what I mean by violence is like, you know, there's sexual violence, but this is specifically violence, violence. And what I mean by violence, violence, um, gore. As in, there's like this one part where this dude is like a family, right? And he's holding his son. His son's head looks like an open can of tuna fish. As in, like, it's, like, still right here, and then this shit is, like, flopped open. No brain inside this dude's skull. No brain inside a kid's skull. Um, his brain is, like, fucking somewhere else. It was, like, a car accident. Um, sorry, hold on. I'm talking a lot, so I kind of fucking swallow a lot of air, pause, no homo. Um, excuse me, too. I really don't say excuse me. I usually just taunt about it. But, uh, there's, like, the dead grandmother on the floor laying on his stomach, and, like, the, the family's holding a kid, screaming and crying. Um, there was another scat video where there was, like, this bitch tied to a pole, like, wiping shit in her face. Uh, and probably the most fucked up video, there was this Asian bitch. I was like, damn, you know, she got a body on her. And then she starts shitting and eating it. And I was like, well, um, yeah, that, that kind of took a turn for the worse. And then she's, like, tied up and just covered in fucking shit. And then people are like, eating the shit and then vomiting the shit. And then eating the vomit. <laughs> Um, <sighs> I'm fucking tearing up a little bit, but, um, yeah, it's some fucked up shit. Um, uh, there was a couple of vomit sessions, uh, only about one or two fucking vomit parts out of the 61. Um, and there was like one beheading video, which the beheading video, remember the Mexican cartel, uh, beheading with the chainsaw, very infamous one. I remember that, that shit was huge. Back in like 2012, that fucking video was, he was like 2012, 2013, that video was everywhere, everybody, oh shit, you see that fucking beheading video, it's fucking crazy, it was like the, the first like real viral beheading video, the real like first uh, viral snuff that I remember, um, so with all that shit being said, uh, I'll probably go on another one, like I remember this one part where this dude took a screwdriver out of his dick hole, and it was just blood leaking out of it, um, that's another that's another clip He's, yeah you kind of got the idea of the movie so with all that shit being said i would say yeah it's about 61 clips from what i remember about half of them are sexual oriented you know taking a screwdriver out of your dick one kid one sandbox which is um in this fucking you know you remember the fucking bitch taking a fucking like mini dildo to this guy's dick pipe remember that shit yeah that's inside of here so more classics sort of say um two girls one cup all that type of shit etc etc um a little bit of vomit so a little twist of vomit so if this was like a, a cake you know the sexual shit would be the cake the frosting would be the violence um the sprinkles would be the scat in the animal cruelty and then you got like two candles for the vomit and then like one candle for the beheading which would be your age um yeah, that's kind of the entire fucking MD Pope. A lot of a lot of sexual shit, a lot of sexual violence, a lot of uh, violence in general. A decent amount of animal cruelty, especially this one part where they threw like a cat in the dryer. Some guy threw a cat in the dryer, turn that shit on, open it, turn that shit on for another cycle. Again, I hate cats. 
but that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be cruel to an animal just because I hate the animal. Um, if an animal attacks me, you're going to get what you get, though. Because uh, I'm an animal, too. You're an animal. We're all humans. Nonetheless, Scott, I don't want to put that thought in your head with this guy's pretty fucked up. What does he do in his free time? I don't skin no fucking. I'm not a fucking weirdo, okay? I'm a New Yorker. Um, that shit being said, that's MD Pofio. Kind of gave you a really good. Sorry, I keep looking up at the time right here. Got about 20 seconds to wrap this shit up. That's MD Pofio. 61 clips, half of them are sexual shit and violence and all that type of shit. Really fucked up movie. I'm going to do a review on the second and third one. Yeah. I'm your boy, Cole Raven. I'm going to catch you the fuck later. Y'all have a good one. Check it out for yourself. Peace.